Hello, I'm Jackson Burns. I'm the Redneck Archaeologist. And on this series of the Redneck Archaeologist Show, we're going to be talking about the KGC. Now, do you know what the KGC is? There was a movie made with it. Uh, uh, Cage, Nicholas Cage was in one of them. Uh, National Treasures, Book of Treasures, Book of Secrets, or something like that, number two. I don't remember the name of the show. It's a bunch of bunk, anyhow, whatever it was. But the Knights of the Golden Circle is the KGC. That's what the KGC stands for. And we're going to be discussing in this series the mysterious treasures of the Knights of the Golden Circle. So stay tuned to the Redneck Archaeologist Show. We'll get right back on it. We're going to try to find us some treasure. Cool. Virginia Dumpmorn, doctor, editor, and adventurer. Uh, George W. L. Bickley formed the Knights of the Golden Circles. He did it in uh, 1854. They had a, uh, basically him and five other people up north. They were in Cincinnati, Ohio, whenever they formed the Knights of the Golden Circle. Uh, there were six of them all total, and they formed it in 1854. Four, he organized what was called the first castle. So they're all known as castles, this little organizations or groups of the Knights of the Golden Circle. They're all known, that's what their little, uh, their title is, is that's what they call themselves as a castle, that little group or organization right there where they're at. And these castles spread up all over the country uh, later on. What the Knights of the Golden Circle believed in was the possibility of bringing slave states uh, into sort of a circle or a semi-circle and going all the way to Brazil, uh, into the Caribbean, uh, back up to Florida, all the way around in the south, the southern part of the states. Uh, the Confederacy basically, uh, they supported the southern cause of the a lot of slavery, uh, a lot of not necessarily that so much the slavery issue but they wanted to have the control of the whole district and the whole area. Uh, they did uh, uh, want slavery as to the uh, being able to control it and keep it if they wanted to have it in such a system. Uh, the Knights of the Golden Circles, that's basically what a lot of historians think that that uh, is what came about or how this came about, uh, that they did want to uh, restore slavery or keep slavery uh, in the southern states and then down all the way through Mexico, down into Central America and South America, Brazil and so on, uh, all along that coast and then back up to the Caribbean nations of, say, San Domingo and Haiti and Cuba and so on. Uh, so that's uh, basically where that all comes from. Now, Bickley was hounded by creditors in the late 18. 50s and he so he left Cincinnati and he traveled through the east and the south and he promoted the KGC uh, he even uh, went as far as did an expedition to Mexico so that was pretty cool I guess following the, uh, following the uh, Mexican-American War of 1846 the group's original goal was to provide a force to colonize the northern part of Mexico and the West Indies uh, that would ex there, thereby extend their pro-slavery interest and be able to keep a stronghold within that region, you know, both in the water or whatever, as far as the ocean wise, they could keep control over that, uh, keep the Vargos or whatever from the, you know, more of the north, uh, more or less some kind of a, basically control over the Caribbean ocean or the Gulf of Mexico. 